Henan might not be as famous as Beijing, Sichuan, or Shanghai, but it has a lot going for it. It's the birthplace of Chinese civilization and home to not one, not two, but four of the eight ancient Chinese capitals. With so much heritage and just one afternoon in Zhengzhou, the capital of Henan, I've decided to take a shortcut and get help from someone who knows a thing or two about history. Thank you so much for agreeing to give me a crash course uh -huh. in Henan's history. <laughs> the first one I want to introduce is the flute here. Okay, this one I know. I didn't expect that we were going to start with this one, uh -huh. but it's something that I think is one of the most interesting objects that have ever been discovered. Mm -hmm. This is the world's oldest playable music yes. instrument made of the bones of uh -huh. a crane. It is made of, uh, of about uh, 8,000 years ago. And so, how does it sound like? Like, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, si. It can play seven songs. Item number two. Yes. Um, so, what are we looking at? It's called a ding in Chinese. Okay. Do you know what's it used for? What is it used for? Oh, it says actually, it's, it's used for cooking. And so, did people actually used to cook in this? With this large size, I don't think so. Okay, so Personally, it was... I think it is a sacrificial vessel. But we don't know exactly whose blood was going in. Whose blood? Yeah. Sacrifice, right? Wouldn't they kill someone? Yeah. Or there's no oh, killing? No, no, no. Oh, no killing. Oh, okay. No. I So, item number three. Yes, actually it's a... Uh, one whistle. Okay. With a so with a large size. With a very large size. <laughs> and a lot of decoration as well. And so it's a vessel for what exactly? One whistle. Oh it's a wine vessel. Yes. Oh wow. Oh well, alcohol. <laughs> that is a lot of alcohol. In, yeah. And this is from which dynasty again? Um uh, Zhou Dynasty. The, yeah. Is, is it were they known Eastern for Zhou. drinking alcohol a lot? <laughs> yeah. But I think it, you know, with 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 uh, uh, so large a size, maybe it's not used in daily life. Okay, so yeah. it's not for like a wild party. Yeah. This is number four. Yeah. And this is a beautiful fresco from okay. Han Dynasty, which is about two thousand and two hundred years ago. You can see a flying dragon in the middle part, and here is a tiger and a beast here next to the mouth of the dragon mm -hmm. and uh, in the upper part there's a there's a bird uh, in chinese we call it the Su Chue. Mm -hmm. and the people in han dynasty they believe that uh, this this kind of creatures can help them go to heaven oh. well, that's the last piece i want to show you it's a golden sleeve the master is uh, uh, emperor Wu Zetian. And she is the only female emperor in the long Chinese history. This one was uh, discovered in Song Mountain. Uh, according to these inscriptions, it's believed that uh, she wants to um, use this piece um, to get rid of his, her beauty. I've learned that you can make musical instruments using birds' bones that gold can rid you of guilt, but more importantly, that Henan's history is every bit as interesting as the books had said. <laughs>